Ben Baraka. I think you've been waiting for me. Yeah. Pablo Duarte. You're with the company? Not exactly. There gotta be a problem. If you can help keep money from going to those communist bastards in Cuba, then no. You with the Cuban Revolutionary Council? I made it through that disaster back in 61. Ended up here. I still have connections, though. It's how Frank Pagani's smuggling operation got on my radar. His man, Pops Holland, runs the freight yard. Does a lot of business with Havana. <laughs> All that commie talk about common ownership is so much bullshit is sickening. Those hijos de puta only care about money. Since losing River Row, Pops has had to resort to airdrops. They moved them around, so you'll have to find out where they're happening. I'm sure Pops' people will be more than happy to help me out. I'll be back, Pablo. The fuckers working for Pops Holland know what he's up to. You're gonna need to get at them. if you live off. Next time, keep your damned mouth shut. You want to see your families again? Then hurry the fuck up. Unless you want to wind up dead, pick up the pace. Hurry the fuck up.
All in smuggling racket. I want to know about it. The drop's coming into the marina. Pissed off motherfucker named Butterbean runs the show over there. Sweet dreams. That black bitch is mine.
Shit's all the He killed one of our boys. I'm gonna climb It's him. all yours, boys. I'm gonna climb him. Getting any more cargo out to Cuba. Good. You somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is, Pops Holland is seriously fucked thanks to you. Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh. Yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. Go get that commie-loving piece of shit, Holland.
We shouldn't be working with those communist fucks. Uh, that money's the same color as everybody else's. Uh, don't change the fact that Cuba was on the verge of shoving a bunch of nukes up our asses. Listen here. I hate those filthy communists as much as anyone else. But if I only worked with folks I liked, I'd be penniless and living in a ditch. Y'all just worry about that coom. And leave the Cubans to me. You big son of a bitch! Of course. Can you spare some of your crew to hold Tick for? Okay, but don't be fucking with me now. This territory has been promised to me. It took me months to figure out that Lincoln had survived the massacre at Sammy's and was waging a war against Sal Marcano. The Bureau didn't have a file on Clay, and I wasn't aware of his military training because his service records were classified. Otherwise, I, I might have started to connect the dots after the death of Richie Doucette. Hey, Paulie. Forgot your wallet in my office.
the party. <laughs> fire it, fire it. I got this, son of a bitch. Ah. Jesus Christ. some color. I got a hit from the device you put on Frank Pagani's car, which means he's back in town. <laughs> bet he's pretty excited to make your acquaintance. I bet he is. <laughs> Signal's clean so you can take it from here. Just use the tracker I gave you. Catch you later.
Looks like the place. This boy got I never did anything to you. Saw some interesting stuff back there. Counterfeit money, a press. Only thing I can't figure out is a connection to Cuba. Please. I'm all busted up inside. I need a doctor. I got a wife and three little girls. Yeah, you want a doctor? Then you better tell me something worth hearing. Listen. What you saw. Sal set all that up. None of the money was worth a shit, though. They had me bring in a man named Alvarez, counterfeiter who works for Castro. He give you the plates, too? Plates? I thought you knew. On account of robbery. Robbery? <laughs> Mulcano wanted the plates from the Federal Reserve. How do I find Alvarez? Uh, How? Well, one of Tommy's guys picked him up. It was... 10, 15 minutes before you showed up. Where are they taking him? Uh, Where? Huh? My little girls. <laughs> Fuck! I spent the last 48 years pursuing Lincoln Clay because he's a criminal. It's horrible what happened to him, but you know something? I think that when Sammy Ellis and Danny Burke were killed, it revealed who Lincoln Clay really was a monster. Come on, come on, let's go. I'm done with Frank Pagani. Poor bastard's not gonna be running anything through Tickfall Harbor again. It's our territory now. All I see is myself do the dirty work, like how I'm securing both rockets for you now. But when it comes to doling out the auction, you seem to forget my fucking name. Correct this now, lad. I appreciate you getting someone else to lock down this turf while I got shit up and running in our last district. But now I'm ready to take this part of the city, too. So that's where you were? All right. Well, if you want to send it our way, we'll keep it running and making money. Consider which way Donnie would want you to go. And then come to me. This turf's going to the Irish. <laughs> Fucking hell. You're smarter than your goddamn luck, lad. 
Better luck next time, I guess. All right, so if we done, I'm gonna go. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. Look, I gave you some names, and I'm paying you to chase them down, so don't give me any of that bullshit. Yeah, okay, just get it done. Christ, sometimes I think if you want something done right. You all right? The nighty. Sammy was so happy. Happier than I ever seen him. That money was supposed to get him, get all of us out from under Marcano. Motherfucker! What the hell did Frank tell you? Marcano had us rob the reserve so he could get his hand on a set of money plates. Georgie must have grabbed him during the robbery. I should have been paying attention. We already had this conversation. None of this is your fault. Like hell it isn't. Sal is a cancer. A leech. He had always intended to fuck all of you. Christ, look what he did to Vito. He murdered your family. The only way to make that right is by killing every cocksucker who's ever looked at that piece of shit. Give me some of that bourbon. According to Pagani, Marcano couldn't print the money himself. So he had a Cuban counterfeiter named Alvarez brought in. What do we know about South Downs? Tommy Marcano isn't the kind of guy who shits where he eats. So his rackets are pretty low key. He runs a sports book and has a place where he stores his contraband. Tommy's got to know that I'm coming after Alvarez. So he's probably got him holed up in or near one of those places. I get my hands on it. I'll be damned if I let Marcano print a single fucking dollar from one of those plates.